Hey guys, this is Stephanie and I'm Stacks on Stacks on Stacks. Rapid Fire Book Tag. Now this is one again that's been around a pretty long while, but I thought it sounded like fun. It was originally done by Girl Reading and I will link that below in case you want to do this book tag too. Without further ado, Rapid Fire Questions. And just so you know, <laughs> like they're supposed to be rapid fire, so I need to say the answer very, very quickly and not overthink it. And I'm probably not going to give a reason for some of these two because if I do, then going to defeat the purpose of a rapid fire then I'm just thinking about it afterwards that's still thinking so here we go ebook or physical book physical book paperback or hardback hardback online or in-store shopping online <laughs> trilogies or series series <laughs> heroes or villains oh I'm gonna go with heroes though I've seen some really well written villains <laughs> a book you want everyone to read I'm gonna say ready player one that's probably the best book that I have read in the last year and I think everybody would love it if you're under the age of 30 you may not understand it as well unless you've been submerged in 80s culture but if you're over the age of 30 you'll get it recommend an underrated book underrated book I recommended this is underrated before so but I'm gonna use it again I'm gonna go with Between Shades of Grey by Ruta Sepetis it's a great book I feel like it was really popular on booktube for like a month and a half and it deserved more than a month and a half of coverage the last book you finished the last book I finished was The Murder Complex by Lindsay Cummings last book you bought would have to be Geekerella by Ashley Poston. And I'm excited to read it. <laughs> the weirdest thing you have used as a bookmark. Ah, uh, uh, mm, mm, uh, mm, uh. I'm gonna say my husband's hand. <laughs> I was reading and it was night and I've used a blanket before, but then I know when I like get back in bed, the blanket books, I'm gonna lose it. But he was sleeping. And so I took his hand and I and I, I stuck it in and I closed the book on it and it was there when I got back. So, you know, it worked. Used books, yes or no? Uh, yeah. Top three favorite genres. <laughs> okay, I just wanna say fiction and have that be a coverall, but that's not gonna work. So I'm gonna kinda go with my, my made up genres. I'm gonna go with time travel. Mm -hmm. Uh, superpowers anything with superpowers and um high fantasy you know where like dragons talk and stuff borrow or buy buy characters or plot oh that one's hard because if one of them sucks the whole book sucks i'm gonna have to go with characters i feel like if your characters are super solid you can have a mediocre plot but if you have crappy characters, I'm just not going to read it. Long or short books? I'm not going to lie. Long books do intimidate me, but usually it just means there's more goodness. I'm going to go with long books. Let's see if I regret that. Long or short chapters? Short chapters, because then I feel like I'm accomplishing more. Name the first three books that you think of. Uh, Six of Crows, Darker Shade of Magic, and uh, Wizard of Oz. I don't know where those came from. Books that make you laugh. It says books plural, so I'm gonna say two books. I'm gonna say Bossy Pants by Tina Fey. Hilarious book, and I actually listen to it because she reads it, and it's hilarious. I, I probably listen to that book at least a few times a year. It's one of my faves. And I'm gonna go with any of the Bridget Jones books by Helen Fielding. Uh, they are fantastic books. They always make me laugh. Bridget Jones is just such a hot mess. It's, it's just so fantastic. Books that make you cry. Um, I'm going to say Between Shades of Grey by Ruta Sepetis. And I'm going to say Flowers for Algernon by Daniel Keyes. Our world or fictional world? <laughs> fictional world. 
Audiobooks, yes or no? Yeah! Do you ever judge a book by its cover? All the time. Book to movie or book to TV adaptations? I'm gonna go with book to TV adaptation because you can get just more in depth with 24 episodes of something versus two and a half hours of something. A movie or TV show that you prefer to its book? I'm gonna go for this one, I'm gonna stretch it just a little bit and I'm gonna say Wicked, The Lives and Times of the Wicked Witch of the West by Gregory Maguire. And I'm gonna say I prefer the play over the book <laughs> because the book is really kind of dark and the play is kind of, you know, musical. And I really liked it. And the last one is series or standalones. And I'm gonna have to go with series just because more good content means more good reading. That is the rapid fire book tag. I tried to do it as quickly as possible and not overthink things and not have to stop and be like, hmm, because it's supposed to be rapid fire. If this tag sounds like fun to you, then boom, I tag you. I want you to do this tag. Make sure you tag me back so that I can see it and I can see your preferences as well. So I want you guys to comment down below with what movie or TV show you think is better than the book. Also, please like if you like, and please subscribe if you want to be alerted every time I decide to put something up on the interwebs. That's all I have today, and I will talk to you guys later. Goodbye!